okay so if you want to design a calculator first we need to create structure of it so for that first we need a window so this will be a window and then we will have one display box here a display box and after that we will keep some buttons over here so you can use number of buttons here or if you want to keep three columns so this is the first input box after that first button then second button third button and after that let we can create search buttons in this way now sometimes a button can be bigger in this way so this is our input box and all others are button but now you can see there are if we count number of rows so this is the first row because we need to use now grid function to place all the elements on our window so when you want to use grid function then you need to know number of rows and number of columns so this is row 1 this is row 2 row 3 4 5 6 and 7 rows and number of columns when you count number of columns that means these are the columns first this is the column one column two column three so we have column one column two and column three so these are the columns if you count number of cells you will find number of columns now here the first cell our first cell is input box this one and it spans around three columns right here so that means these these three buttons one two three and this input box is taking same space so that is spanning around three columns that's what we want to write in the code if you see this button uh, this is spanning two rows see it is taking space of two rows now tell me how much space these two buttons are taking this one and this one These are taking two columns. Input box is taking three columns, column one, column two, column three, all space it is taking. In the same way, right here, you can see this is the column one and column two. So does this take two columns? Yeah, it is taking two column space. It is taking two column space. So if you want some element to take some space, you can use this command or this attribute called column span. I think we already used it, column span. If not, we will use it now. So when you write column span to three, you will get input box like this. If you write column span is equal to two, the button will be wider like this. And if you write row span is equal to two, then your button will be like, it will span for two rows. So this is how we can use. So to use grid function, we need to know row and column, and then we can put them together, right? So let's create that. Okay, so first thing we should create a window. So I have already here a window, so I'm writing it directly from tkinter, which is a Python library import start. That means import everything. Then let's create a window. 
to create window i am writing variable name cal or you can write calculator is equal to tk bracket this will create a window and after that uh, we should end that window end that code using cal dot main loop so this is the function main loop bracket so if you run this code only you will get a window like this so this is a calculator window now we can place our input box then buttons on this window using create function so let's do it before we put we can add title to it so after this creating window i am writing here cal dot title so whenever you want to write any title to your window write it inside the title function and in the double quotes you can write its name simple cal let's run and check so now i got the name right here simple cal now let's add input box because here first row we want to add this input box to add input box i can write input or for calculator it is a display so i am writing here display you can write any variable name display is equal to function is entry which will give you input box now where you want to put it is display box on that window the window name is cal so first you should write this now let's add width is equal to any number you want so i'm writing here width so so now if i run this program one more time i'm running can you see this display box right here on the window is there input box here can you see this or no yes yeah, sir i can see it's a simple cal yeah, yeah simple cal but now we added this entry input box now it should be here input box no there is nothing uh, the, it's just blank sir yes it is blank because when you want to put something on that screen you should write a function see i want to put this display box on that window so i should use display dot pack function and when you write pack function then it can be displayed so now you can see it it's right here with this is the input box now with 35 as a width here now you can use one more attribute called border width border width is equal to let's write 5 let's run it again so now i got input box with border width so because of this border width it seems like this is the this is the border width of that uh, you can see the depth effect here for calculator can you see this yes sir okay so using border width we can use that now we have used this display dot pack function but generally if you want to put many elements on the uh, the window then we need to use grid function and when there is a grid function we should tell row number and column number to it so instead of using this pack function i want to use grid function over here now how to use grid function for that i want to 
place this display box on that window so first start with that item name which is display here display dot grid function okay so when you use grid function first you should tell row number of that so what is the row number for this now input box row number and column number um yes go ahead so the first one yes this is the row number but for us for human the row number start with one two three but generally for grid function the index starts from zero so this is row zero this location is row zero and column also zero so zero one two now it starts with zero then one two three four so now what is the location for this input box in in terms of row and column row zero column zero so this is the location row zero and column zero so if you want to write it here in the grid function first specify row row is equal to zero then column is equal to zero that's it so now if i want to place or display it i can directly run this and you can see it is displayed over here this is the entry box which has name display with width 35 border with 5 and it is displayed on the uh, on the window using display dot grid function but now i want that input box wide enough or three columns wide so here i can write column span command column span is equal to three because that should be three columns wide so i'm closing this and running it again so now you got this column span three window. Okay. Now when I will put some other things here, there will be column one, column two, and column three. All other buttons will be kept right here down here. So this is three columns wide. Now let's create button because I want we want to keep buttons right here in this way so this button this button this button if you, if you want to put then we can create a button right here to create i'm writing here button one is equal to function is button which starts with capital b button then where you should want we want to put it on that window the window name is calc then comma now text on that button so we want to if it is calculator we want number on it so text property is equal to in the double quotes let's write one then we can use pad x and pad y property pad x to set width and height of that button pad x to let's write 20 comma pad y to 20 because i want same height and width so now if you want to put this directly on the window what you should do now this button is created but it is not kept on that window if i run this it will run but you cannot see the button here because we should use pack function or grid function if you are using grid function then you need to specify with only grid function so let's do that and for this button one we added text is equal to one pad x 20 and pad y 20 then one more command we'll add command so if there is a button then it should work 
on some command. Command is equal to, and there should be a function name. So I'm adding button add. This is a function name. So if you are writing function here, then you need to first define that function. Now to define that, I am writing that function right here. Above that button here, I can write a function. So let's define def button add is our function name colon. Now I want to write code for this uh, function later. So right now I'll just write here return. I am not writing anything else. I can just write return. That's it. So now if I run this program, still you can only see input box on your window because it has this display grid option. Now, if you want to put this button one on the grid, again, you should use button one, which is name of that button dot grid. Now in the grid function, you need to specify the location. So for the display, we have specified row zero, column zero and column span. Now for the first button, so this is the location of the first button. Tell me what is the location. Index starts with zero, one, two, two three, three, four. four and okay, and column zero, one, two. Now tell me what is the location for this? One. Row uh, one. It's, it's row one okay. and column zero. Column zero, correct? So I'm writing here, same thing. Here, row is equal to one, comma, column is equal to zero, first column. And now I can display. So now you got this button over here, this button. Now, if you want to change height and width of that button, let's do it here. Instead of add x20, I'm writing here 10. And this one is also 10. Run. Now the button will be smaller. So here I got this button. You can click here. If you want to add more pad X, just add it. I'm adding 30. Let's see what happens. Now this becomes bigger. Now if you want to add more buttons. So this is the button number one. So I can just copy this. Copy. Paste here. This is our button two. Let's change only this to text two. That's it. Everything else is okay. same. Command I will change later. Let it be as it is right now. Now I want to put this button somewhere. Now to put this button somewhere, just copy this command, paste it right here. So the button name is two. Now, what is the location for this button? Button number two row and column row number and column number i want this location so what is the row number yes it starts so with zero. zero see i want this location right uh, so, it's uh, row one, row one, column one, column, row one and column one. And for this button, it's row one and column two. two. One two. Okay. So here for the second button, we need to add row one, column one. Let's do it. So here 
button two, row one is correct and column two one. Now when I run, I'll got the another button right here. And if I want to put one more button, let's this 30 is bigger. Let's I'm using 20 right here. Okay, let's add one more button. Just copy this line and paste. This is button three. Change the code to three. Here it will be three. Change the text. Everything else is same. Copy this command, paste here. This is button three, dot big. Now the location for this is row one. See, this is the row one and column two. So I'm just changing that here. Row one, column two. And then let's done. So we will get three buttons like this. If you want to add other buttons, you just need to copy this thing. Just copy and paste, paste. We need to just change the numbers of that buttons. Here I want number four, and here also four. You can click here like this click, press control key, and you can directly click here. So in the Jupyter Notebook, you can use cursor to, uh, in two places directly. So I'm just using backspace and I can add five. Now here, I'm clicking here, control key and here. So you can edit two places or three places together. If you use control key, I'm changing this to six. Now, click, click, delete number seven. Then number eight, number nine. Okay, so I need one more button, which is button zero. So I can just add here button zero. Okay. So now we created all the buttons. If I run it, see, we created total 10 buttons, but we can see only three buttons over here. Why? Yeah. We huh, yes, go ahead. Hello? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Can you repeat, sir? Your voice was cracked. <clears throat> the question is, we created 10 buttons now. Button 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, and 0. But I can see only 3 buttons on my window. So what should we do for it? So because at the below, I think, uh, the bottom. This one. Yeah, only 3 is given, right? Yeah, we wrote grid function only for three buttons we need to write this grid function for all other buttons so then it will work so what i can do i can just copy this and paste three buttons these three buttons the so total line buttons and i want only one here so i can paste here let's change this so now i want to change the button name Button one, two, three are already placed. Let's put button four. Four, five, six, then seven, eight, nine. And last button is zero. Okay, now we need to uh, just find out the location of them. So we created this one, two over here. So what was the location here? Location was row one and column zero. Then row one, column one. So that's what we can see here. See, row one, column zero. Row one, column one. Row one, this two. So this zero, one, two will be common. Only we need to find uh, change this row number. So now I want to put here four, five, six. Now, now if I want to four, five, six. 
तो रो नंबर इज टू रो नंबर इज टू कॉलम नंबर जीरो वन टू विल बी सेम सो आई एम जस्ट चेंजिंग दिस रो नंबर टू टू एवरीवेयर रो नंबर विल बी सेम And then for these seven, eight, nine, row number will be three. Column number will be zero, one, and two. Three. And for the last button, I want to put it on line number, row number four, column number zero. So now if I run this, so we got these buttons over here. This way. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. But generally, if you see number one is written here on calculator. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you check on your calculator anywhere? The right numbers, the seven, eight, nine is here on the first row. Then this four, five, six is okay, but this one, two, three is right here. If you see any calculator, you can see it like this. So now, if you, I want to change the position of this one, two, three to right here. So what I can do? I want this number button one on row number three. Just change this row number three, three row number three. Now, and I want this seven, eight, nine on row number one. So I can directly use this number one. row number 1 row number 1 that's it so no need to change all the code you can just change the position of buttons using this row and column classification now let's see when i run this now i got okay appear like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 now if you want to add here plus button and Equal button, so we can do it. To add the button, just you need to use same code, copy, paste it right here. So this I want two more buttons, so I'm adding it here. So this will be button add. This will be button equal. Equal button. Now, when we add these buttons here in the code, this code is written for place in on window. All right. So let's place this button add and button equal on the grid. So I'm just copying this, copy this code because it has a uh, number zero. After that. we want to add two more buttons on the grid the button name is add and the second button name is equal now row number 4 is correct only you need to tell the column number column to 1 and column to 2 third column this will be first column second column and third column two. so let's run this And you can see here these buttons. Why it is showing this zero zero? Because just we need to change this code. Here the text should be plus, and this will be equal sign. Run, and now you can see this is a simple calculator format. so when if you want to use this you can use plus button then equal sign it will show calculation here are you getting